Hi guys, Patrick here from EngineeringShock.com and ElectronicLessons.com. Uh, we're building Engineering Shock from scratch, or rather rebuilding it from scratch. Uh, so currently it, it will take you to our eBay store. Uh, I'll keep you updated on that. Couple things. One thing, I am going to post some electronic tutorial tutorials that I created right out of uh, college a few years ago. Uh, they're not the greatest, but and they're very basic. But I'll post them and see if uh, if you guys like them. If you like them, I've got about seven of them. I'll try one or two and see if you guys like them. Uh, let me know. Anyway, this is um, I built this for a customer. What it is is it's one of our clock kits. That's a 24-hour six-digit clock kit with uh, with uh, its tri-function. It has a uh, stopwatch and countdown timer and alarm that works with the clock. Anyway. Um, what happens is, is it's actually got a regulator on the board, but it's a 78LO5. And uh, if you want to use more than 9 volts of the input, it gets really, really hot, and it can be damaged. So what the customer wanted is the customer wanted to ha be able to use a higher voltage. So we substituted for a 7805. Uh, and if we really wanted to put a lot of high voltage on it, or up to, say, 20 volts or 25 volts, we could heat sink this. be just fine. And we've got the output of the buzzer. The buzzer output connected to one of the our engineering shock relay boards. So what this can be used for, what he plans to use it for, I believe, is for a paintball prop. He's going to use it to turn on and off a, uh, a siren when the time runs out on the countdown timer. Uh, and you can do that with a relay. Personally, I've used the same configuration uh, as a fireworks igniter. All you really need to do is power this device, get two 9-volt batteries, place them in parallel, connect them to a... Um, through the the relay to a, a filament so when the relay is connected it connects the, the filament to ground filament goes red instantly and it can be used to light a wick anyway let me show you in action, it in action power it on there's a power on reset circuit there we go starts at 10 so let's set the mode uh, what do we want let's say 10 seconds. So now when I press the second switch one more time, uh, the timer will start to decrement. And once that reaches zero, da 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 relay turns on. Now you can get rid of the buzzer if you want. Yeah, you have to just press this button again to uh, turn it off. And uh, you can set it for uh, you can set it for several minutes or hours. Set it for 99 hours if you want. Uh, 99 hours, nine, <laughs> 99 minutes, and uh, yeah. Sorry, 90, 99 hours and 59 minutes, and yeah. So you can have this as long as your power supply keeps out. Uh, you're golden. Now, uh, you, to hook up a siren to this would be very really easy. You just need a. You can use the same power supply if you want, depending on how the, how the siren is connected. You connect the uh, normally open pin to ground. You have the positive pin of your siren connected to your power supply, and your negative pin connected to the common pin. So when the relay turns on, it connects the common pin to the normally open pin, which is connected to ground, completing the circuit, and off goes your siren. These relays are top notch, and they're rated for high power, so. Uh, that's why we can actually put a filament on here and use it to ignite stuff. Anyway, uh, hopefully you found this interesting. Hopefully, hopefully you liked the video. Uh, let me know in the comments if uh, you're interested in me posting some of my tutorials. Uh, I'll start out with one, one of the more fun ones, and uh, we can go from there. Thanks for watching, everyone.